Hey everybody, welcome back to some Super Auto Pets. We have some videos some days, we don't have videos other days. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Actually been getting into a little bit of the festive spirit myself, if I, if I do say so. Listen, this squad here, do I like them? I like... There are things about them that I like, and there are things about them... The thing... There's... Would I rather do two damage to a random enemy or spawn a 2-2 two -two dog? I would rather do two damage to a random enemy. A 2-2 two -two dog will tend to be worse than two damage... Do like, because that's basically having a two infinity for your first attack, right? Let me be a... Um, how about a befuddled underdog? Like, what? What? <laughs> they beat me? What? Really? I think the order here is right. I know it looks like it's not right, but I think the order here is right. I know we're gonna draw this one, because the la Oh! No, we're not! I didn't think it would work! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think it would work like that. I thought that because you were last, when you died and gave us a trumpet, the trumpet would just deprecate, because there's no unit for a dog to spawn in front of, but shows what I know. Hey, wait, just one second, how does this work? Spend one trumpet to deal two damage to two random enemies? You guys are toasted, honestly. Any any damsel that's in distress be losing to my Tamarin team. It's the best. Okay, watch this. Probably. Wait a minute, I don't know. They got quite a squad. You piece of junk. Never mind. You kings of Maine and princes of New England. Two wins in the first two rounds. Holy cow. Okay, how are we going to do this? I would roll. I would take. I don't see a good reason not to take here. And then honestly, there's a part of me that says, why don't you just take a little snipe right off the bat? Like this, this seems like a good early team. Like it's turn three in Magic the Gathering and we already have um, three mountains and an Abbot of Carol Keep out on the field. Which I've got to tell you, I don't know if you know anything about magic. I surely don't. But I think it's bullish. <laughs> I think it's positive. <laughs> Get smoked and pancaked. Okay, we lost this one. That's fine. I think it's just, uh, it is what it is. Just is what it is, quite frankly. You can get two of these sons of guns going out here. I mean, the build is kind of self-explanatory right now. Let's have you just uh, just blow yourself up, honestly, and let's give you a cherry. I'm just, I, these are, we're making investments in temporary units, which is probably not great. But here's the thing, a win is a win. So if it's a temporary investment that leads to a, a, like permanent trophies, then I'm not feeling too bad about it. I'm not feeling like fantastic about what they got going on with this lizard here. I think this lizard's gonna do quite a number on me. I'll level with you on that one. I just think it's a great team. A 3-9 Lizard is kind of insane for turn four. That's that's the kind of thing that's just going to be hard to deal with in like all circumstances. Um, I think we want to keep the chocolate cake. I'm going to add a, a guinea fowl here. Just in the hopes, and it's certainly not a guarantee, but just in the hopes that, um, oh, but wait, this order doesn't work. Eh, we can just do it like that that we can maybe uh, pursue some sort of trumpet build. Give the last enemy ink. I'm a bit of a sleeper on that one. I'm, I'm not afraid uh, who knows it. But uh, here's the thing. I, I love the idea of a surgeon fish here. You're a three-piece. You're a three-piece. Let's freeze this. Enemy summoned. I mean, I could see some value there, but I'm going to hedge our bets on the pivot, which I probably shouldn't because I've lost every round since the round started actually mattering. But... You gotta, you, you're, you're investing in your, in your groundhog here and you're investing in a big lizard. I don't think the lizard's gonna do what you needed to do. Never mind, because I shot it. <laughs> if I hadn't shot it, I like our odds a little bit more, but I, I think we are, uh, maybe not toast, but maybe toast, yeah. <laughs> All right, so this fell apart, but you got to admit, round one and round two, I mean, we were sitting pretty. How about sell me? Because you're actually just, well, you know what? Combine me and then give me two fish, but place them here. Before attack, spend two trumpets to give the nearest friend behind six health. This is a big trumpet generator for us. 
and we get decent value out of the lettuce. Well, it's like a, it's a targeted salad. I still, it's been going poorly. I would not dispute that. But I like what we've, I like our foundation. Whether or not it will pay out in any realistic fashion. That's unfortunate that you, you put that, that evil on me, Ricky Bobby, but... I'm gonna say that it's not going to work out, and I, I'm gonna say that this is gonna be one of the worst rounds uh, we've ever had. We're on lethal already, and it's like turn six, turn seven. That's subpar. <laughs> Spent two trumpets. And we didn't really change much. That's true. That is true. You're only, you're only generating two trumpets, too. So it's not like we actually get a... You, you might as well come to the back here. And then I think... Because I, I think giving the guinea fowl like a buff would be nice. But wouldn't we... Because it gives two... Like, you know what I'm going to sell you? I'm going to buy you. I'm going to sell you. And then I'm going to try to run the antelope here. I'm pessimistic, but... If we could get, like, a 6-6 a, a six, six dog out there, it, it might make all the difference. It also might make none of the difference. But that's, that's all I can tell you for now. It's not looking fantastic. I, I'll tell you that. On the other hand, 5-5 five, five dog. <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> hey, you can't be mad, okay? I'm playing injured. I slammed my thumb into the, the hinge of our door earlier today. And uh, I gotta be honest, I'm not gonna give you the grisly details. Let's just say I heard a crunch, and before the pain registered in my brain, I went, ooh, this is gonna hurt. And then it did. <laughs> and then it did. Let me be a peculiar arm. It's, it's okay, it's not broken, I can bend it. It's, it is a little painful, but... Uh, that it was several hours ago now. We're, I'm, I don't know if we're through the worst of it, but... It's not... Unless I slam it in a hinge again. But if I... You know what? If I slammed it in a hinge again, I would simply die. I think it would, it would be like a relatively painless death. I would simply pass away. Um, which would be tragic, but... At least the suffering of the thumb would be over. I don't know where I'm going with this. Do you want to make a big groundhog? Like, not really. It does, but here's the thing, we should leverage this a little bit, because it genuinely doesn't matter if we lose this one. So why not just make like this sort of investment, and next round we sell an opossum. There's a level right there. Yeah, next round we sell an opossum. You should not have your groundhog at the back, because... Well, no, maybe it will summon a, a stealth dog. Now, like, we, like it did last time. You're summoning a trumpet, though. I don't like that. Don't don't shoot my groundhog. I need that groundhog. I need that groundhog. You're losing me, my jury. Oh! Ah, okay. I didn't know we were gonna make that one. It, I I know it didn't matter if we lost, but it's nicer to win because the trophies are permanent, you know. Oh, dude, give me a big weasel. We should have sold into the weasel, but that's okay because it's Wesselton anyway. So why don't you, it's a weird buy me, sell me, but having a 4-3 unit out here is kind of, kind of nice with it. I almost think we should run the squad like this. We really want our weasel to be at the front, because win, lose, or draw, we want to get the gold. And realistically, a 3-4 is not going to solo their whole team, so this is sensible. The squad may lose, to be sure, but we at least, uh... We set it up sensibly, and it's not going to lose, for the record. It's not going to lose. I guess this would not summon a second dog, now that I think about it, because we already summoned the dog. I don't know. I don't think we need another cone snail. You're going to be generating a little for us, so sure, why not, um, why not have you? This is a bit of an econ build, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to buy a penguin. Not thrilled with that necessarily, but that's okay. You're not really my kind of my cup of tea here, okay? We're not we're not necessarily doing a trumpet build. 
This just happens to be where we're at. And we, I, I bought the Groundhog because we're going to combine them next turn. And honestly, normally, I, I probably wouldn't worry about pursuing a level 3 Groundhog, but it's, it's our best unit on stats. So I kind of feel like we, we owe it a chance to, to pop off a little bit. Okay, you got your own Tamarin. I see that. It's cute. It's a real tough cookie with a long history of breaking little hearts like the one in me. I'll settle for a draw here. I'm not feeling too bad. Of course, this is when it all started to go wrong last time. Okay, level me. Forget the... Oh, but do it. But both... This is so economics pilled. We could go econ build, stick with the gazelle, run a manta, and sell a cone snail. Or... We could take a flying fish and, like, try to make a big lizard. And I actually, I just think that's more interesting. So I'm going to, look, we run Manta, Macaw, Bird of Paradise all the time. Let's try a little something different, okay? Sell a gazelle. Run a flying fish at the back. A lizard that gets buffed by a cone snail. And, and for now, why not just pop that down there? And I still think our, our weasel's doing okay even though it's Wessel, uh, at, at a 3-4 that generates some gold for us. You won't catch me crying about it, at least. And then every tail we spawn is going to... I didn't know in advance. I'm glad they did the math for me. It's going to spawn as a 4-2, which is actually pretty good. Oh, <laughs> not good enough. <laughs> but still, I, I think this squad's got something. Considering that's the first round for the lizard, give it a chance. Okay, tier threes are popping. We have two of them. I'd say that that's like my threshold for lettuce. I'd say that's acceptable. You know, like, um, are, you, are you not familiar with uh, Judas Priest? Threshold. Threshold for lettuce. The world is a something place. You don't know Screaming for Vince 1977's best uh, hard rock album? It's got Bloodstone, it's got uh, Pain and Pleasure, it's got... Th there's a... Listen, you should really just look it up. I'm not going to condescend to you and suggest you don't know what you're talking about from a Judas Priest standpoint. Holy cow, a hit draw. I'll take that. We're going to get a level 3, which at least is sellable at some point. Although we invested like 15 gold into it. This is huge. This is a great turn. Very nice. Spend all trumpets to deal it as double damage to a random enemy. We're not going to be generating that many. This is not really like a trumpet build. But I respect the idea of it. You know what? That's even more gold. We could throw a silver fox out here. But something about this run is it's more about... It's not about gold. Let's put it that way. It's about trying to get summons. So we should be looking for like some of these tier 4s and tier 5s that make a big difference in my opinion. This Falcon's gonna go off, dude. This is a nightmare. <laughs> dude, I, but you know what? It's nice to think. I never even thought about like a betta fish into a Falcon. No, no, no. And then you're gonna shoot it with an egg and it's gonna summon. Oh, it didn't even get a chance to summon one. And then we got three of these. It's not useless. It, I can't believe, I thought we were toasted. Holy cow. I thought we were done. We're not a trumpet build, so don't worry about the antelope. I mean, you're, listen, you're just always good. Am I willing to sell two units to run you? Yes, I am. I, and, like, it's the same squad we run a lot of the time. But clearly the lizard's not getting it done for us, so we might as well get a little buff on the gorilla. And there's a lot of ways that we could take this a step further. We can't get tomatoes yet. If you can't get tomatoes, just take a banana. It'll make your flying fish that much better. Not sold on the free Shavakadu yet. Not sold. Obviously, you make the flying fish better, but not that much. Not, not enough to make me interested. And of these... Well, that's right, we can't even take an extra space here. So, I mean, I would just make the flying fish better, honestly. So what are we looking for? I want a beluga that eats a wolf. And, I, and then I want more chocolate at tier 5 so our flying fish can start to pop off a little bit more. If we can get like a level two gorilla or something, I'm not saying it's in the bag, but we got a good thing going. Sometimes people will condescend to me. They'll say, hey, NL, did you know that if you put a monkey on your macaw, then when you summon the gorilla, the gorilla will have a banana. But then once the, once it takes damage, it will no longer have a banana. 
Hang on. We can make this work. Because the coconut armor will override it. Well, I say to that case, I say I paid for one banana. I will accept my one banana. I don't need the... I'm not a two banana for one kind of guy. Who am I to say, hey, I paid for one banana, give me two bananas? It seems like a ridiculous question. Now, I could give... I could summon... Give friends summon 20% of this friend's attack. I don't think it's what we're looking for. I really think we're looking for a beluga. It is... You know what? It's enough that I would sell and then buy and then just keep you around. And if a beluga showed up, then I would say, let's run it. And we're really looking for chocolate. That's why I'm not freezing the shop. Okay, and then it, then it showed up. And we have to run four squatted in order to make the, the, the macaw work. And it's going to give us a level two gorilla, so it's a good purchase. We would like you to eat something that gives us a benefit. That applies to none of these right now. This also it doesn't apply to. I don't really want you to eat a cone snail. The problem is, is if I freeze you, then I'm going to eat you accidentally. So we honestly might as well, in my opinion, just buy this and accept that our beluga is going to look like pure detritus here. And this is okay. Yeah, this is, this is, it, I mean, I would give us maybe under 50% chance of winning the next round, but I don't think it's, it's a, a done deal. I don't think that I feel God in this chilies tonight. Very similar build. People are definitely wise to the power of a flying fish right now. No, nobody's like, oh, you'll never guess what my favorite build is. <laughs> well, I don't know. The favorite build is like anything with the bird of paradise, I suppose. Oh, oops, we won anyway. All right. Keep them, keep them chunk in here. We, we buy basically to sell. That's a beautiful purchase. We still need something for the beluga, man. We should keep this around because it does allow the, the white whale to eat. It's you. Extremely Sigur Ross voice. It's you. And then we should buy. We should sell. We should have you slurp up this wolf. We should probably buy. I don't see a world in which... Well, actually, if chocolate showed up, I would rather buy that. But Or, or another one of you shows up, which is also great. Now, the only thing you got to watch out for here, if we eat more food with the beluga, it will overwrite the animal that they've swallowed here. And I know you're like, I wish that was me. Get a, It's so juvenile all the time with you, okay? You got a little coconut armor. I bet that he right now this person is like I got him I got him oh really get this why don't you get a little Aesop's fable it's okay I got my dog okay see how your dog deals with that that's can you deal with that we give this to you and I know you're gonna be like it's a little backwards but check this out we give this to you all of a sudden that is a level three Gorilla that's getting spat out here. It's not going to have the same stats as if the macaw was level three, but still. Now, you no longer need to be here, but I need to replace you with something that's worthwhile. And I think that the pure scumbag answer is, is I sell you, and with God as my witness, I think we just place down another flying fish. And basically, I, listen, a bird of paradise would go hard here, but let's at least, like, it's just, to run macabre bird of paradise every single time is a little, I don't think it's, like, beyond the pale, but it's just, uh, well, you know what, now that I'm about to lose a round, we should have done it. We should have done it. We should have taken them up on their offer. I still think this squad can go hard. I don't think it's, it's obviously not going to win this round, but I still think it can go pretty hard. Imagine if it, uh, I can't, but imagine, oh, okay. It's all right, were we in three life? We're in the lab, let him cook. He is cooking right now. We like it. We like it. We don't love it, but here's the thing. 
Just thinking. <laughs> Dude, why don't we give you one of these? Just a truly nightmarish build. And the stats on the team are horrendous, so that's got me thinking, but hold on. It's like almost the exact same squad, except somebody's closer. PETA. I think we win because we haven't even summoned our, our wolf yet. But they that is a level two wolf for them. But the flip side of that, I suppose, is who cares? Yeah, okay. I'm them but stronger. I don't get many opportunities to say that. You like my hat, by the way? I just unlocked it on stream, and my wife said that's a Korean hat. I popped it right on. Okay, when you eat this, the problem with you eating this is that it's going to make you eat another animal in the shop. So I really need that to be a beluga, or I need to wait until we can freeze a wolf and get it to the side, because I don't want to lose the wolf. So I, I took the path of least resistance on that one. Similarly, I mean, this is merely a 2-2 buff, but I'll, I'll take it. <clears throat> I mean, this is, this is a pretty nice setup we got here. Be a shame if something happened to it. See, and I felt like a scumbag for running this. And I realized, look at this, this guy's running two flying fish too. He, but he, he just doesn't have the... He doesn't have the same kind of hyatspa that we got. That takes us to seven. Roaming. Level me. This is fantastic. Now we'll spit out a level two wolf. That will obviously, it was already become, listen, I guess it's not that important a level. We should really pay more attention to stats, but. <clears throat> we, you need a tomato. No, actually, a tomato's pretty good, but I feel like the macaw with two flying fish, maybe it's better to just have the banana. Always important. And then I think keeping this frozen seems crazy. But by keeping that frozen, we can always just chocolate the beluga. But do we really care about chocolating a beluga? We'd rather chocolate this flying fish. I still... It, it's kind of absurd, for sure. But I still think we should keep that wolf frozen, just in case. And also, if you'll allow this, just because it's also kind of funny, if, you, if you'll allow me to enjoy myself a little bit, I think we get value here. I, I mean, this monkey's gone to heaven, man. Did you see the stats? Did you see his stats? Holy cow. <laughs> it never ends. <laughs> They're onto something with this golden pack. Let me get uh, the world's worst purchase. Thank you so much. We'll sell that. How about a slightly better purchase? Thank you. Some chocolate you shouldn't have. I'll be insufferable from this point forward. I'm not buying another penguin. I don't think we should have frozen the last one. I, I take full responsibility for that. The octopus, sure. I, I see the value of the octopus. You know what would really hit the spot here? A third flying fish. I don't think there's a way we can make it come to pass. But imagine if we could. Now, I'm actually genuinely scared of this team. Because a level 3 German Shepherd is going to make these... The, the pigs that get spawned are going to be out of control. But they do only have 10 life. Uh, but the, then the German Shepherd himself has 34. I still think we might take this one. We're going to take this one. That's so funny. <laughs> the team was so much better. <laughs> oh, man. What a world. Okay. Well, I want one of these real quick. One of these. Mm, no thanks. I guess you could use a food, but then again... I, I want to save it for chocolate. Yeah, I'm not just going to feed you something just to feed it to you. Let's roll till we get chocolate. We're not on lethal. A pretzel is the only other candidate, I think. Sure, why not? So that was a bunch of wasted rolls, but... I mean, what else you, what else you got me doing here, you know? 
It's a good question. I didn't really think of what the answer could be. I think the, the crux for this is, can we get through the Hawk? And we did not, and that is... That's bearish. <laughs> but at least it only summoned something that wasn't that catastrophic. And then, th dude, we're gonna win! We're gonna win! I'm just crunching the numbers. I'm looking at this. Look at these pigs, man. You can't stop this. All right. Well, that was an interesting 10 piece. And with merely one thumb. Sorry, I keep looking at it to make sure everything's okay here. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. See ya!